Hello YouTube, it's Emma Blaise 10 here with um, a Q&A answer video and uh, I'm just going to apologise in advance for if I do seem quite quiet um, and a bit sniffy I have unfortunately got a bit of a cold but that's not going to stop me from answering your questions that you guys have put forward so anyway thank you very much for all the questions that have been submitted to me so far um, I really do appreciate it and I hope you enjoy this video so let's get started okay first question is from Campsterdam SP guy how's married life in Cornwall based on the current attempts of companies to play the nostalgia do you think that the new support f for the original anime boss monsters such as blue eyes black magician etc is enough to rekindle interest in players who have moved on such as yourself I hope you're well down south well, thank you very much for that question, but I'm uh, just going to alliterate that I'm not married, I am engaged. Um, marriage is on the cards between me and my partner, but it won't be for another year or two at most because, as some of you probably already know, mar marriage is expensive nowadays, unfortunately. So, yeah. But um, life down in Cornwall at the moment is very good. Um, as you guys know, I'm working two jobs at the moment and we've got me and my partner have our own flat and everything, so we're pretty happy. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! in general has been off the agenda because of how life has been. You know, we've been working to pay our bills and everything and the rent and all that jazz, but that's just how life goes, unfortunately. The new support for the new boss monsters and that, well, I'm not going to lie, I have seen some of the cards and everything from the new movie and I've been watching the trailers for the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie and it looks freaking awesome. I will not lie, I really do want to see it and I think it's nice to see the old anime bosses get new support and everything. Um, I would love to see it's nice to see that kind of support come around every couple of years it looks like obviously to renew interest in the game in some way and it's it's really nice, it's also nostalgia and everything, it becomes collectible and all that as well so there's probably going to be that side of the new cards and everything coming out so that's pretty awesome I have to admit so but thank you very much for your question I really do appreciate it next question is from Austin White are you going to watch the new Digimon movie? Now I will admit I am not I know of Digimon and I have watched the dub version of Adventure One. Um but I never really was into Digimon. So to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna watch the new movie, but from what I understand, and um, my partner's a huge Digimon fan, um the new Digimon movie thing is actually OVAs. They're not movies, it's an actual OVA. Um and um but if you want to they're like movies. Yeah, they're like, as I was just saying there, they're like movies, but they're not quite movies, if you see what I mean. Um, but if you are curious about what my favourite Digimon was, it was uh, Anjumon. Anjumon was definitely my favourite Digimon um, from the original series. So thank you very much for your question. Next question is from Nem Plays Games. How is life going? If you are in some way able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Online, what have you been playtesting? Thoughts on new Blue Eyes and Dark Magician cards if you have seen them? Well, as I said, their life's going very well at the moment. Um, I've got myself sorted and everything. As I said, Yu-Gi-Oh! unfortunately hasn't been a huge priority of mine, although I do want to get back into it in some way, shape or form, even if it's only uploading a video once or twice a month or something. Um, I do play online. The the obvious place I go to is Dueling Network but I haven't been on there for a very very long time um, and again with the new Blue Eyes and Dark Magician cards if I have seen them I think the artwork looks awesome I love the new support for the Blue Eyes and everything and I would not be too surprised in general if somehow they are made to fit competitive format um, in the future or somebody finds a broken combo or a loophole or something with the combos that can be done with blue eyes but it's nice to see more blue eyes support in general coming out as well as dark magician support as well but I'm more happy with the blue eyes because as you know I love my blue eyes <laughs> so much thank you very much for your question next question is from Omega01 question one do you think that blue eyes players will be forced to play with the new blue eyes support in order to keep up with the current game or will create creativity with blue eyes still see some play two how do you feel about the three boss monsters from the og Yu-Gi-Oh getting the big support 
And three, have any of the new archetypes that have come out sparked any interest of play? Now, I think there's quite a few questions relating to the new Blue Eyes cards I've seen in here, so just gonna just generally summarise it. I love the new Blue Eyes cards, I cannot wait to get them. I look forward to getting them if I can or if I can afford them, to be honest. And it's really nice to see these old cards um, getting. Um, getting more support and everything because as I think it's the thing of they're old style cards and they're not played a lot nowadays so getting new support to make them more playable is always a good thing. Now I will admit new, I haven't kept up with Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time so unfortunately I do not know of any new archetypes that have come out or anything so I do apologise I have not seen anything that has interested me as of yet. Please excuse me for a second. I apologise there, as I said I do have a bit of a cold but that's not going to stop me from getting this video done. I do apologise everybody. But anyway, um, yeah there has, from any new archetypes that I have not, don't really know anything about that so I do apologise. <laughs> I've not really kept up with Yu-Gi-Oh so I don't know anything about that. Thank you for your question. Next question is from Rog Rodrigo Ramses. Um, what do you think about the new Blue Eyes support? Um, now again, as I said, <laughs> that question is asked quite a few times in the questions here. So I've already explained my feelings about the Blue Eyes support there. So um, I hope that I, I hope that previous uh, lot answers your question there. But thank you very much for that. Okay, next question is from Vampirazam. Hi Emma, it's been a while. Here are some questions. 1. Will you start Yugi Tubing again on a regular basis? 2. Do you know how the latest game mechanic pendulums work? 3. Would you ever live stream? 4. Have you searched for any local card shops in your area? Would you ever play there like the old days? And 5. Are you excited to play the game again? Well, <laughs> Yugi Tubing on a regular basis I don't think will be happening to be honest. I'll be lucky I mean, I can, well, to be honest, I cannot make any promises, but I would personally like to upload at least once or twice a month or something, depending on what videos I can do. And what, um, because unfortunately, I, st I still don't have a new laptop computer. I'm still on this old one at this current time, and unfortunately, it's unable to cooperate with some programs with recording. So I can only go with these picture videos, as you can see, at this current time. And of course Windows Movie Maker, that's pretty much how I make my videos. Um, so I don't think it'll be on a regular basis, it'll pretty much be a case of when and where I can. I do understand roughly how pendulums work to some degree, um, but only from reading it and watching a few episodes of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Arc 5, Arc V anime. But I don't really have any interest in them at this current time, so I do roughly know how they work, but I haven't actually utilised them or anything like that. Uh, I have done one live stream in the past, and that was unfortunately before um, my laptop completely gave up the ghost and I moved down to Cornwall, so that was over a year ago. But I probably would live stream again at some point if I had the time to do so, but again I can't make any promises on that. so. It's kind of a wait and see sort of thing. Um, the only local card shops that are in my area would be in St. Austell, which is Mad for Miniatures, but unfortunately I live nowhere near Mad for Miniatures. It's at least an hour or two away by car. Um, and it, it is faster on a train, but unfortunately there's no train stations near where I live, so I cannot unfortunately get to St. Austell very easily. A good chunk of the day would be spent travelling which isn't really good really considering if I was to go to a card place regularly to do and everything I'd probably have no energy to do so. So yeah, that's unfortunately just a no-go at this point. And yeah, I would like to start getting back into the game again but as I said, just with how life is it's going to be very difficult because you know, I work full days pretty much with one job and then I work in the evening with my second job. I don't really have a lot of time in the evenings. I mean, I do get a couple of days off a week, but even then, a lot of the time when I do get those days off a week, I usually am spending time on housework, as you as you do. 
or any other tasks that need to be completed for that day. Um, so when it comes to actually wanting to having days off or time to myself to do this sort of thing, I'm usually quite tired by the time that comes round and as a result I'm not really in the mood to record or do videos or anything um, and all that so yeah it really really does depend but thank you very much for your questions. Right, next question is from Alex Cruz. Have you tried other card games? Um, well, I haven't tried other card games, but I am interested in Magic the Gathering because I do like the concept of that. I think it's a cool game. My little sister, um, Heavenly Guinea Pig, and her and her partner, uh, Kalo Shade, are into Magic the Gathering. They enjoy Magic the Gathering and they play it quite a bit. My sister's actually a very good, very good casual player. So I personally haven't tried it, but I have watched it, watched it being played and seen some of it being played and everything, and I think it's cool. Excuse me, I do apologise. But other than that, other card games, no, not really. Duel Masters, um, what's the new one? Card by Vanguard, that does not interest me at all, to be honest. As I said, as I said originally, Yu-Gi-Oh only interested me because of the ancient Egyptian themes and the Blue Eyes White Dragon was the main thing. So, yeah. But thank you very much for your question. Next question is from G-Bomb. What is a newer non-Blue Eyes Dragon monster you're excited about playing? Well, <laughs> that is a very, very good question because unfortunately I do not know. <laughs> as I said, I have un sadly not kept up with Yu-Gi-Oh very well. And as a result, I do not know of any new non blue eyes cards that are possibly coming into effect with really nice that interests me I suppose is the way I should put it um yeah so uh, I'm just trying to see if I can quickly s look into the thing and have a, and have a look ah uh, I am just having a look at the moment now. No, I can't see anything that would interest me at this current time, so I do apologise. Um, I can't really answer your question with that. There's not really a non-Blue Eyes card that I have seen that could have be of potential interest. so. Do apologise I'm unable to answer your question at this time, but thank you very much for it anyway. Next question is from Aaron Bailey. Do you have a favourite elemental masked evil Destiny hero? Well, um yeah, well, to some degree, yes and no. Um I like the elemental heroes, masked heroes, evil heroes, destiny heroes in general, because I think they're a cool deck archetype. Um if I was to choose one if I should choose this one, I if it was allowed, I would say Neos Wiseman because it's a fusion of well, in the anime at least, it is a fusion of Yubel and of Yubel and Elemental Hero Neos, but I don't think it's considered as an elemental or a hero card, so I think that would be out of the picture. Um but I do like the shining. It's a, I do like the shining. I think that's a cool card. Um if you want to know what my one I really don't like is definitely zero. I don't like absolute zero because it screws me over so many times. I'm sure a good friend of mine, aka Dark Magician eighty four, knows how much he has screwed me over with that card so many times. Um, but I do like the shining. I think that's a cool card. So thank you for your question. Next question is from Zaleon. I hope I pronounced that right for you. <laughs> Um, how have you been so far this year? How do you feel about the new Blue Eyes support? Predictions for Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, if it isn't released by the video time. And what decks are you running? Well, um, how have I been so far this year? Again, as I said earlier, um, I've just been concentrating on life and everything, <laughs> really. But other than that, I've been very good. It's been very positive um, the past year and a half. It's been very good for me. I've been very... I suppose I haven't mentioned how happy and content I've been and I'm going to sneeze again, I do apologise. <coughs> oh. 
See, that's determination and dedication to you guys. Because I'm sick, but I'm still trying to get this done for you. Um, I've been very positive and very, very happy um, with how things have been. There's been a there's been a lot of personal things that have happened to me as well, but I don't feel ready to discuss them as of yet. Um, I probably will do in a future video of some kind, um, probably give you a personal update about how I've changed as a person in many ways, let's just say. Again, I've kind of already explained my feelings about the new Blue Eyes support, but for the Ultimate Dragon, I would love to see it have, th um, I don't know what kind of if, um, effects or anything it will have. If it, I wouldn't be surprised if something along the lines of multiple attacks were allowed to have it or increased attack power in some way or form would be good because um, cause just in my personal opinion, I mean Blue Eyes, White Dragon itself got plenty of support in combos and everything and Shining Dragon is, well, pretty much a divine entity by itself with its abilities. Um, as you guys know from, from my per personal point of view about Shining Dragon, but Ultimate Dragon never really got anything. It was there as a tribute fodder and that was it, or as an attack power run over. That was it. It was never really used for anything else. So it would be nice to see it get a good effect that allows it to do a lot of damage, I suppose, because that's what ultimate dragon is generally it's just a 45 attack beat stick in general so it would be nice to see an effect along the lines of either multiple destruction multiple attacking or you know in something along those lines basically i suppose is the way i should put it but i hope that answers your question thank you very much for that <laughs> next question is from druid's calling oh can it be you're back well yes and no as I said earlier, with uh, some previous questions, um, I do want to get back into this channel, but at the moment I think it's going to be slow, very, very slow. Um, as I said, it would be lucky if I get one video or two videos a month, if I'm lucky, but again, as I said earlier, I cannot promise anything with this, so in a way I am back because I want to get back into the game that I love so much but at the same time it will probably be very difficult and hard to keep that promise so I hope that answers your question but thank you very much for it. Next question is from Yugi Dragon. Hi Emma you're back. Oh and I have a very good question to ask you. Are you excited for the new Blue Eyes support and are you going to make a deck profile once Shining Victories is released? Um, well again already explained my opinion on the Blue Eyes cards. And, well, to be honest, deck profiling I will probably only ever have to do via either Windows Movie Maker or if I can find a program that's compatible with this old computer, record it on dual network, possibly. So that depends, but in the real world, it will probably be a very long time because this computer unfortunately does not cooperate with SD cards or anything that I use for my camera. So. There is a possibility I could potentially do a date profile for that once the Blue Eyes cards come out, but it will be a long time in the making, I think is the way I'm going to say. So I do not know yet, but fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. Thank you for your question. Next question is from Kasai Wolf 7 I hope you are well, Emma. My first question is how have you been? It's been so long and you have been missed. Aw, thank you very much for that. For a more card-friendly question, what do you see as a future for yourself in Yu-Gi-Oh? Now I'll have to admit that's a very good question. Um, again, you already explained how I have been the past year and everything, um, so I do apologise it's been so long. But for the future as myself in Yu-Gi-Oh, um, if I was to be truly, truly, truly honest with you guys, I don't think I'll ever get back into Yu-Gi-Oh 100% like I was two, three years ago. Sadly. It's not that I haven't lost my love for the game or anything along those lines. It is more along the lines of life is more important than a card game. And while I still enjoy it and playing with it, um, watching the anime and everything, I'm not like an obsessed fangirl like I was several years ago. Right now, my future is looking like, for Yu-Gi-Oh anyway, is I'm still going to keep the channel open. I'll still do some videos. 
regardless of what they are, depending on what I can get to do videos with, you know, the computer and programs and everything, and how often I can do it. Um, but unfortunately, it's not going to be a permanent thing. I think I don't. There may come a time where I might have to not become part of Yugu anymore. I don't think it's any time now. I don't think it'll be for a long time. But if, but I see in my life overall life plan, I don't think Yugi will be a big part of my life to be honest. In say maybe within five or six years time I think because as I said me and my partner do plan to get married and that will probably happen within the next two years and after that I do want to have a family and um, I do want to become a mother um, so obviously when that happens I will not have any time for you or anything like that because my time would be dedicated towards my family um, but I think as I said for the time being I want to try and get back into doing something for this channel because I really enjoyed doing this channel and I'm not quite ready to cut the ties with it just yet. As I said, I don't think that will happen for another few years but at this current time I want to try and get back into the channel even if it's slow and only one or two videos every once in a while. At least it's something and I'm just very grateful for all you guys who have kept up with me so far. Um, I never thought I'd get this far of my channel in all honesty. I mean I've got over 1500 subscribers which is a good number. I would never have thought I would have gotten that many in all honesty. But I don't see myself making money from this channel or anything in case I wanted to because I'm just not really that dedicated to that sort of thing on f um, sadly because I wouldn't see how I could do it to be honest. But I suppose that overall, overall is the channel will still be going, even if it's slow. But I wouldn't be surprised if within the next few years, five years at the most, the channel becomes null and void, as it were. If it does, that will be a sad day, I will not lie. But at this current time, I'm just going to concentrate on the here and now. And here and now is I'm going to try and get back into it, if I can. So, thank you very much for your question. Okay. Second to last question is from Sir Klopp. Best ever pack opening you've got. Do you think the new blue eye support is going to ruin the concept and old school feeling of playing the deck? Right. Best pack opening I ever got. Ooh. <laughs> um, I think if I was to choose the one, my best pack opening would I would go back to the 2004 movie premiere where I managed to get the blue eye shining dragon in the very first opening card. As you know, that is probably one of my best ones, but. I should choose another pack. I don't know. Um, I think one I can... I, I can't really remember all my pack openings, unfortunately, so I cannot say anything for certain. But I think one card that does stick out to me is the level 11 Synchro Monster Star Eater. The Dragon Synchro Monster that looks like Crimson Dragon, but it's not. Um, when, when that pack card in the pack came out, I remember buying several of the packs and I kept pulling the ghost versions of that card. I kept, I mean, every couple of packs I pulled a ghost version. I think I pulled about four or five ghost variants of Star Eater. And let's just say I was highly sought after in trading with that card and I'm not too surprised really. So I got some really good cards with that. But I think that if I wanted to pick the best book pack opening ever, it would definitely have to be the, when I first opened that pack with the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon when I went to the 2004 movie because that changed my life in such a way. It was amazing. So, yeah. Uh, the new Blue Eyes support is going to ruin the concept and old school feeling. Um, I don't think so personally but of course um, with the new cards I think it's going to be a lot of test runs before we make up our minds there because it's nice to see the effects are going to be very supportful but whether or not they'll be practical is another thing. I think we'll have to wait at least a couple of months before people make up their full minds about if that card is going to be suitable, if the cards will be suitable for the Blue Eyes deck, if they will work supportively and everything but we'll wait and see <coughs> did 
to apologize, guys. But we're nearly done, so don't worry. And the last question is from Spooky925. Good time to come back. A booster is going to be released based on blue eyes. Yep, you got that right. Um, I know there's a... Um, Shining Victories will be coming out very, very soon, but I will not be... Um, I will not be going to... I said it... <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting a bit tongue twisted here. I won't be getting said pack for a very long time, even if the cards do come out. I wouldn't be surprised if the Blue Eyes cards in general do come out at, at a high price of some kind or something along those lines. So, I do want to get the Blue Eyes cards, but it will probably be a long time in the making. But we'll have to wait and see, as I said with that. But anyway, thank you very, very much for your question. And that was the very last question slash statement that was there so um, thank you very much everybody for all your questions I hope I answered them as best I can and again I do apologize for being sick while doing this but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys and I wasn't gonna let a little cold stop me um, but anyway again thank you very much for your questions thank you very very much for all the support that you have given me and this channel so far I really do appreciate it I'm really grateful you guys like my videos still like my videos even though it's been eight months since I did the last one yeah sorry <laughs> um, but as I said don't expect too much of this channel in the near future. I will try my best to do videos when I can and when I get myself into the mood set to get that done and all that but fingers crossed I can still continue this channel for a little while longer and everything but until then um, I just thank you very much again for all your support and all that and I hope you continue to support and enjoy the channel. So anyway um, I don't think I've got anything else to say guys. Thank you very much for all the questions today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to doing more videos in the future when they do come around. So till then everybody, please take care of yourselves. Bright blessings to you and we'll see you guys in the next one when it happens. Take care. Bye bye.